Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. If you guys tuned in last week, we took you through the design process of my very first EDF jet with a pretty heavy cartoon twist. Now we had an absolute blast with this jet going from EDF to prop driven to even thrust vectoring, which gave us some crazy flat spins. So this week's episode, we are gonna take the finalized version of each of these. I built some for my good friends, Stefan and Dave, and we are gonna be putting them to the test. We got a lot of work to do, let's get to it. All right, so this is the gray and blue version of the Retro Rocket. Uh, this is the prop version, one of two different styles of the prop version. So the other cool thing about this is that this can be like your first trainer. Um, I'm looking to obviously train my kids on this and when they get a little older in the summertime. We have the FT Aura 5 in here, um, which has level assist and has auto launching. If you've never seen Josh do the auto level launch, it's absolutely fantastic. All right, so I am gonna be flying the uh Thunderbird version of this and uh, Josh came up with a really nice scheme. It's got an awesome looking paint job on it and this is an EDF powered version. It's a little bit faster. Now this will be a great first jet for anybody that's wanting to get into EDFs and uh, I highly recommend going out and getting one. All right, so you can see my last experiment with thrust vectoring kind of is still in the tree at this moment. Noah, that's yours. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> This is the prop driven thrust vectoring version here. Now this has a couple really cool features. If you remember in the previous video, it can do some really crazy flat spins, but also it's still prop driven, which means it's really cartoony, it's light, it's nimble. And also along with the flat spins, you have full yaw control, which means if you're taking off and landing and you need to make any adjustments on the runway, you can do that now with the prop, which is pretty cool. Now the configuration for Stefan, Dave's, and also this thrust vectoring version is all available for download for the FC Aura 5. It works really, really great. You don't need it to have a great flight experience, but it definitely unlocks a lot of really cool features. All right, so you ready, brother? I think so. All right. Hey, uh, are we good there, Nobos? Mikey, right. you good? Yep. All right, so this is the first time, this is maybe this, no, this is the second time that I've flown this. Yeah, you were there for the prototype process, but this is the yep. first time flying the one that I built for you. Correct. So hopefully it's tuned it right. I don't trim planes. I'm <laughs> listen, sorry, guys. <laughs> listen, it looks great, by the yeah. way. I'm, I'm so, excited. Have some fun. You got a cross one, but I think you got it. All right, here we go. Andre, do one. Two, one. All right, down the yeah, runway. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so, nice. Here's the crazy thing. I don't know why this is, whether it's the breathe through, but why does the whoosh sound happen with the prop version too? Yeah, it, it just sounds really cool. It sounds it more like a jet. Yeah. It is a nice. This so, is awesome. So dude, you want you want some company here? Cause we yeah, dude, bring it all up. So I'm gonna try something here. I, I, I don't like flying actually, alone. I think I can actually taxi. Oh, I can oh, taxi! Wow. <laughs> I can do the front right, vector. Go. Oh, you stupid oh, no. runway. The runway. <laughs> I'm going this way now. It's winter time. We need to do some work. <laughs> <laughs> that runway's been kicking my butt. All right, I'll come out to join you, buddy. All right, Bubba. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't want to hit. Oh my, how close is that? I don't even know. I don't know. know, but I got to keep my eyes on my plane because I forgot which one was flying. <laughs> Dude, that well, really up bad. there, they look like the same. Look at that. It's so easy to fly formation. Oh, dude, this is awesome. So, so our good friend Jason McQuiston and so many other great flight test community guys, they always put on a demonstration with uh, John Overstreet's F-18s. I could see these things flying at this year's flight test and having a ball. Oh yeah, dude. I yeah, love this it. Thing, now, they it, usually do the uh, Blue Angels. Um, oh, oh, we touched! <laughs> you out of the air? No, you're good, dude. I, you wow. can't tell how far you are. I just raked right over you. That was awesome. Sorry. That was time. awesome, dude. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and play some aerobatics here. All right, let's that do a roll awesome. upside down. So with rolls, you just a little bit of forward pressure is all you need, and she's fantastic. Dude, she, she's so nice. Yeah, it shouldn't be this gentle. Everybody, including myself, thought that this plane was going to be a nightmare and just a really wobbly goblin because it does look like a big Ben Harbor called it a, uh, a chubby pun jet or something. Yeah, yeah, it does look a little bit like that. But it does not fly like a pun jet. No. Now, all these tunes, all these tunes are basically dialed into the aura, but you don't need the aura to fly good. We always design planes with no aura in it to make sure they're stable about it. All right, I got to do a flat spin and hopefully not hit a tree. <laughs> yes, dude, I'm uh, ready. No, or Mike, I'm gonna climb up nice and high. I'm gonna roll it inverted. Here we go. Whee! Yeah! <laughs> She's yes, on the fuse! Oh, oh, my sucker, are no! You 
know. Is there an altitude even? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> So what, one wow. thing I noticed, <laughs> and especially with the no. aura on it, um, it, it just like counteracts. Now, if you hear that little, it's because the gyros react so violently, it trims a little bit of your elevon. Really? So that's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> but it's awesome. I'm feeling a little jealous here. Should I get mine going? Yeah, get yours ready. I think my you should friend. get mine. Let's, let's do a flyby, Stefan. You go in. All right. I'll tuck in behind you here. All right. You go short. I'll go long. There you go. I love this dude. Da, 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 da. So easy yeah. With. <laughs> I so almost sick. hit you again. It was awesome though. I love that you get so close. You wanna do a roll together? Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Whee! <laughs> I went to the left, you probably went to the right. <laughs> I probably did, yeah. Ready? Let's form up. I'll form up behind you, Stephanie. Okay. Call it when you're ready to do the loop. Alright. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> that was awesome. I love it. So Dave's gonna whoop us all, but we got yes. like 10 minutes flight time. He's got like four. That's but perfect. But he's got like twice the speed. Here, yeah, dude. Whee! For me, the speed, I love the fact this little 1750 motor here, um, you don't have bad speed, but you have some crazy efficiency and quiet. Here goes Dave. Go Dave! I like the way like Dave the, sounds. The whoosh is real on his. This is awesome. The whooshy jet. Dave, what do you think? Oh, she's quick. Did I trim it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was if awesome. You wanna, if Even you ever, without trim, though, it flies incredibly well. She fast. I'm going to go full throttle, see if I, I can't even catch you. You're probably half throttle. Right uh, yeah, I'm just a hair over half. And I'm full. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna come back around with you guys. Straight up. Oh yeah, you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get up there, dude. That's it. <laughs> There's no way I got there. It feels like you almost have unlimited vertical, huh? Yeah, it's really Same close to it, I'd say. All right. Dude, See look if I at can you back just it down it. just a little bit here. I love this. So flying is fun, but flying with friends is the best. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know if I can slow down enough. No. Dude, I don't think you can. <laughs> No, you're... I'd have to go 90% throttle. She's act actually really gentle, uh, even with the EDF version, which is considerably heavier, but you just don't slow down. Yeah, and I mean, as far as uh, jet goes, trainer-wise, I think this is a perfect... Oh, that makes me happy. There we go, guys! Yay! Yay! I can't even barely keep up with them. I'm full throttle, and you're like half, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm half. And I can't go any slower. <laughs> <laughs> Right there is about as yep. slow as I can get it. Look at that, I think I'm just keeping with you guys. Yep. You're like a F-35 trying to escort a Cessna 150 down. <laughs> I love this, friends. Oh, we almost oh, have to do it again. We are, we are on point oh, right I now. I love this. So what we'll do is we'll distract Dave and we'll run out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll just get bamboozled. You, are you coming in, Josh? Yep. Okay, I'm going to bring mine in as well. There's my landing. <laughs> Here's my runway bump. Dang, Dave. <laughs> Here comes Stefan. Nice landing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. <laughs> no. I, That's okay. I missed my out. Holy cow. Go, Dave. <laughs> that thing's right. fast. That Thunderbird logo that looks That so looks so <laughs> sick. It's pretty quick, too. How you, how you feeling, Dave? <laughs> yeah, was, awesome. I, I kind of figured it wouldn't go a lot faster just because of how tubby it is. Yeah. But uh, it, yeah. it scoots. It shows us fat guys can move. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and, that looks And Dave, so you cool. get a respectable four minutes of fun out of it too, which is pretty darn cool. Yeah, that's huge. Look at you Look go. At that. She yeah. tracks. <laughs> that's every bit of 50, 60 mile an hour, I bet. That's and awesome. straight vertical. Dang. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. She glides forever. Oh, she does. It does glide. No, nice oh, it reached the landing. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not landing oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That close. Oh, my oh, God. God. That was fantastic. That was awesome. You guys like it? Dude, that was awesome. Oh, that was a great time. Thanks for putting these planes together for us, Josh. Oh, yeah, and thanks for dreaming up the idea. I love yep. it. I love it. Now, friends, this is the start of 2024 here. And we have a lot of amazing designs coming out, not just for myself, but from Dave, mm -hmm. from my son, Michael, and uh, Jason McQuiston, and so many more. 
And also, and if you're in the mood to fly and fly with friends, the Retro Rocket's a great solution. It is. It's, I, so far, it's one of my favorite solutions. I'm not going to lie. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now, now, friends, Flight Fest is just around the corner mm -hmm. here, and we actually want to challenge you to design something for us for the Retro Rocket to share with the community, and that is an EDF Thrust Vector unit, because I think as much fun as the Thrust Vector prop version is, can you imagine what we could do with an EDF version? Oh, it'd be awesome <laughs> to be able to just walk it down the runway. Definitely. It'd <laughs> be amazing. So here's the deal. Design an EDF Thrust Vectoring unit, Post your videos on that. We're going to pick a winner. That winner is going to get a $500 store credit. And then we're going to provide the free STLs for people to be able to print their own and have a lot of fun. We want to do all of this before Flight Fest this year. So if you want to take on the challenge, get a Retro Rocket, start working. So the Retro Rocket is now available in the store. So make sure you go check one out, grab one for yourself, get your friends involved because flying with friends is the way to go. We'll see you guys in the see next one. Time.